Lovely people, this is Altar. My name is Ray. As usual, this afternoon or this evening, we are running the show together. I have a lot of packages for you that you don't need to miss it. Today is going to be full of fun, entertainment, educative. There's going to be a lot of thrilling stories to share. And if you care to know, um, now we have Christian eye news people across the world. And Ghana is privileged to have one. In the meantime, I'm going for another music video from our brother called Ni Okai. And when I come back, I'm going to give you a lot of thrilling stories from the Christian Eye newspaper. Enjoy this. <laughs> This is Alta, your most favorite gospel entertainment show across African continent. Um, you're on Channel 5 TV. If you want to join us, you can, of course, go to www.5gh.tv and we're going to run the show together. Very soon, I'll open the phone lines for you. But in the meantime, like I told you, 
we Christians here in Ghana are very privileged now. We have our own newspapers to read. We have the most wonderful stories to follow. Nothing but the truth and salvation. Um, I have with me very beautiful ladies here from UK, some from Nigeria. Um, they are the main team behind the Christian Eye Gospel newspaper, if I may say. Let's talk to them and find out. Ladies, you are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're looking gorgeous. Thank you. You tried? Are you sure? Very sure. I see. Um, welcome to Ghana. Thank, Thank you. you. And this is Alta. Here, we inspire people. Um, we lift souls through worship and praise. So that's what we've been doing. So welcome home. This is your home, okay? Um, you are here on a very important assignment, if I may say. Mm -hmm. The Christian Eye newspaper, isn't yeah, it? Yes. It was launched yesterday. Yeah. I had the privilege to be there just to spy it. But in the meantime, may I know your name? Okay. My name is Angela Iriobo from Nigeria. Angela Iriobo from Nigeria. So you are representing? I'm the company's country representative from Nigeria. From Nigeria. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, you? Uh, my name is Angel Bediako, and I'm representing <coughs> from UK. I'm the public relations director. Public relations director? Yes. From UK? Yes. Okay. And you? My name is Audrey Amponsa, and I am the editor for the UK. Editor for yeah. the UK. Correct. All right. So you are from Nigeria? Yeah. UK, yes. PR, and? UK. Editor. Um, say, so, okay. Um, Obi, say, Pidia, Enim Dawa, your munching. Um, your new feet, Nigeria, are all representing the Christian Eye newspaper. And here, war, um, Angela. Uh, we have two Angelas. One from Nigeria. Uh, one is Angela. And then one, one is, is Angel. Angel. Yes. yes. Thanks for the correction. <laughs> Thanks for the correction. So, Angela is from Nigeria. She is a rep there for Christian Eye newspaper. And we have Angel, who is the PR. And then we have Audrey, who is the editor. Um, let's go <laughs> off the beat. Okay. Um, Christian Eye. Yeah. Newspaper, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The newspaper, of course, has eye because all of you are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, you are representing Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes. What is your duty? I'm representing the com the company in the Nigeria. The company in Nigeria. Yes. That's beautiful. So, what what is your responsibility as a representative of the newspaper in Nigeria? Okay, um, I'm a journalist. Okay. Okay. So, every single news story or feature or advert that you see in the Christian Eye newspaper that is coming from Nigeria is coming directly from me. So, wow. I have the responsibility of bringing in news stories, okay. Christian news, Political okay. news, social news, entertainment news, even sports news. Yes. So you don't only do um, Christian, you don't only handle Christian issues. No, 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 no. It's no, very no, versatile. No, no, no. Very no, no, open. No, no. Yes, it's very okay. open. The, the reason why we actually called it Christian Eye, it's, it's, it's not just a newspaper. It's a vision. Okay, so in the vision, we have... A responsibility of preaching the gospel through what we publish there okay so if you open that particular edition that you're holding mm -hmm. we have um, a space uh, where we put prayer of salvation okay so the newspaper it's it's more than a newspaper is a vision okay so whatever we publish from Nigeria whatever new stories that is going to be coming from Nigeria that is coming into that paper is not just news stories. They are coming to give hope. They are coming to impact. They are coming to inform, entertain, and basically to 
send out salvation to so many all around the world. That's, that's very beautiful. Let me come to Angel. Angel, you happen to be the PR, Public Relations um, Officer. Yeah. Um, what do you do as far as the newspaper is concerned, Christian Eye newspaper? So basically it's my job to just to make sure that the news is um, or people understand exactly what we are trying to put out in the market. So in other words, the image of the Christian eye, we have to, um, it's my duty to make sure that that image is portrayed correctly. Okay. Like my colleague said, um, all the news which will be published in the newspaper, it's my job to then ensure that all the contacts which I have you know, are well informed of exactly what we're doing and they have the right idea of our aim, which again is to preach the truth and salvation. So that's my duty. That's your duty? Yeah. Okay, let me come back to Audrey yes. as an editor. editor correct. Um, can you also let us know your duty before? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. My main duty is to get the stories, check for grammar, check for spelling mistakes, and just check that the stories actually make sense and that the word of God is, is, has been injected into So, um, I know, if I'm mistaken, you are not only in Nigeria. No. no. There are other countries. Correct, um, yeah. Yeah, which other countries, apart from Nigeria and Ghana that mm. you're trying to... So, we're located in the UK. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we'll soon be... Well, we have journalists everywhere, mm. but in terms of the paper being launched, it's yet to be launched in the US. Okay. It's yet to be launched in Nigeria, though we have a representative already. Yeah. And it's also yet to be launched South in South Africa. Okay. We have a journalist there as well. Okay, that's beautiful. Yeah. But um, what is your reason behind the newspaper? I know you've, you've, you've given a, a, a yeah, gist yeah, of it. Yeah. But um, so far as Ghana is concerned, why yeah. did you factor Ghana into, into, into those places you want to publish? Yes, well... Um, it's an open question. Yeah. Yes, I'll, I'll oh, go oh, first oh, and then everyone will contribute. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, we already know that Ghana is well informed and there's many churches in Ghana, there's many Christians in Ghana, so yeah. it's not a matter of necessarily trying to win souls per se. But we also have a lot of false churches in Ghana. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of false ministers um, preaching a false gospel, which then are leading people to a, a false god. All right. in, in quotation. Yeah. So one of the reasons why it's also in Ghana is just to make sure that that image or that perception that people have of Jesus Christ mm. is sort of is, is changed mm. and that we're also trying to make or bring hope mm. back to the nation. Those who have lost hope in whatever situation they, may f they might find themselves, just to let them know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel, mm. that God loves you. You know, this is one of the reasons why, and I just hand over to Audrey to continue. <laughs> Okay, Odi, you can um, continue. I would say that coming from England, yeah. um, if something is happening in America or Pakistan or India or China, we don't necessarily care. Yeah. And, I've, and the newspaper covers news from America, from Africa, and from UK, and from Israel, and, and other countries. So the paper allows people to see what's happening in other areas, mm -hmm. and it allows people to relate okay. more and so that's why we, I think we also okay came to so I see um, I see South Africa I see Nigeria mm -hmm. I see Ghana I see mm -hmm. UK and, and I see um, um, US. Yeah. Yeah. well you can join um, the Christian Eye newspaper on www.thechristianeye.net when you go there right now you can get a whole idea of what they represent um let me come back to angela i hope this time i'm right yes you are <laughs> she didn't am yeah I, am i right on that <laughs> yes too? you are um as i know you are a journalist okay. as well mm -hmm. the stories that you treat because normally christian stories or issues will be directed to the christian perspective and there are occasions where you, you need not to be biased. You need to be objective exactly. and free and fair. Mm -hmm. exactly. Don't you think that religion is going to conflict with the ethics when it comes to journalism? 
because instances where you need to be a bit objective your religious um, ideas or the love you have for your Christian background may not um, direct you to actually write what you're supposed to write from okay. journalist point of view okay first of all I would like to state something very important religion and Christianity are two different things okay Christianity is not a religion forget that a lot of people call it so Christianity is a lifestyle mm. Christianity it's in nature okay mm -hmm. so forget that sometimes we find ourselves in an environment where they say what's the religious views what religion you say Christianity that is what is obtainable so long as that form is concerned okay, okay. concerning putting down my stories from a journalistic view the reason why this newspaper is called the Christian eye is because whatever story that comes in is going to be measured based on the scriptures okay? okay let us assume that we entered a particular church and we noticed something that happened between a pastor and the members or a pastor and a member now i'm going to take the story before i even write it down i'm going to get views that is where we start talking about our sources okay. when you hear from your sources also, another thing I want you to note is this. The people on this crew, this crew you are seeing, are Christians. Born-again Christians. Tongue-talking Christians. All right. Um, okay. I'll, I'll, mm -hmm. Hold on. We, it doesn't... It, our stories, there is no bias on our stories. Okay. There is no that's, bias that's on exactly our stories. That's exactly what I was waiting because for you to say. Everything has... Everything is coming out from the standpoint Point of, of the scriptures. View. Okay, yes. thank you very much. Um, if you just tune in, this is the altar on Channel 5 TV. We are discussing a very powerful um, item here that we have for our Christian brothers and sisters in society called the Christian Eye Newspaper. From today, you can get it on the market. So every Sunday, we're going to read issues and treat some of the stories that they're going to touch on here so that from Monday going, you can go and get yours from the market, isn't it? How much is it going for? Do you have any idea? It's or I need to call two back? Two cities? Two yeah. Ghana cities. It's Ghana just cities. two Ghana cities. Um, your last statement before you leave the set is also an open <laughs> question. <laughs> um, my last statement would be, we publish nothing but the truth and salvation. So. Mm -hmm. As my colleague said, it's not a biased um, view or standpoint. Everything is biblical, and every story that we're going to treat is going to be investigated very well. It's okay. not a two-second thing. It's very well investigated, and the, the, the truth will come out. So that's my last Okay, um, Audrey? My last point is that this paper is for everybody. So if you get a copy, you can give it to your friend, you can give it to your neighbor, you can give it to someone that you just met, a stranger, and then the information in there will change their lives. <laughs> um, my last point is this. The Christian Eye newspaper has come to stay. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So, we are expecting the challenges. We are ready. We are expecting business people to advertise with us. Okay. We are expecting to hear testimonies from churches. We are expecting a lot of testimonies from churches. So the Christian eye has come to stay and it will thrive. Well, 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 well. You heard them. The Christian eye has come to say to stay, right? Yes, yes. All right. Thanks for the correction. <laughs> Whoa. Anyway, if you want to find out or you want to contact them, uh, you can get them at um, West Legon behind the police post. And um, I have their editor in chief's numbers here. Um, zero five zero one three one nine four one seven. I'm repeating it. Zero five zero one three one nine four one seven. Maybe you're watching us um, from Kumasi, Takradi, Sunyani, wherever. When you get in touch with these people, they're going to get you into business. They're going to supply you. 
you put it on the market they are already everywhere you can also get them um from um zero two four four six zero two one nine two that is um director in chief um africa his name is mr emmanuel asamoah zero two four four six zero two one nine two your last question who is the visionary who is behind this new newspaper um mr alex Oseibonsu. mr alex Oseibonsu. wherever you are special greetings to you it's such a great 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 vision this is the newspaper you can go to the market and get it henceforth um we we we, we want to encourage all our christian brothers and sisters in fact i'm going to make sure that this newspaper will get to every church in ghana it will enter there whether you like it or yes it is coming oh i'm going God. for my next music video and when i come back the show continues shall we enjoy this <laughs>